Clean weather. It is cool and it is dry here on this Wednesday afternoon. Birmingham is only at 55 degrees. The dew point down at 15 and usually it's in the summertime and then when things start to get really cold that we really focus in on dew point and it's obviously not summertime anymore. So that number explains why it is so dry outside and why it's going to get so chilly around here tonight. It did get cold in Pinson this morning, down to 26 degrees in Northeast Jefferson County. Jasper hit 30, Birmingham at 30, Chelsea at 32. There were a lot of communities represented all the way from Hamilton, Cullman, Jasper, down to the Clanton and Tuscaloosa areas that had numbers in between these. Tomorrow morning, we're going to do it all over again, except some spots might even be colder with a lighter wind. Wind starts settling down tonight. We'll drop to 35 before midnight. 31 degrees early in the morning. The official low in Birmingham likely coming in around 30, just like we did earlier today. And then 62 tomorrow afternoon. That's a little bit more common for this time of year. So there will be some variation from neighborhood to neighborhood, even within cities tomorrow morning. Like, for instance, Talladega. There may be some communities around Talladega that are only in the low 30s, and then there are some that are as cold as the 20s, especially on the north and east side of town, going up toward Munford and uh, up toward east of Boga, one of the colder spots around in the uh, Talladega, Anniston, Pell City area. Moody gets down to 28, Gadsden at 24, but you get in the middle of downtown Gadsden, we may not get much below, say, 28 or 29. So a lot of change from place to place, and the farther southwest you go through Birmingham, toward Tuscaloosa, Brent, Greensboro, the less likely it is that we bottom out in the mid 20s like we will farther toward the northeast. As dry as it is, there's nothing on radar now, and I don't think we're going to see anything on radar for several more days. All the cold air rushing south has those little lines of clouds developing over the Gulf of Mexico. You can see the wind there blowing them down to the south and shutting the Gulf down. Essentially, there's just nothing out there moisture wise for us at this point. And even what begins to return by Sunday, those blue colors still very dry air given what we're used to around here. 74 by Saturday, 76 on Sunday, so we are starting to warm up some. College football looks fantastic around here on Saturday afternoon and the weather for Sunday even better. A few clouds around on Sunday, but still no rain. We'll stop the clock here on Wednesday. Still no significant rain. Maybe between Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, we can have a few spotty showers, but we're talking small fractions of an inch of rain, if anything at all between now and November 10th. So here's some specifics on the next seven days. Frost is likely tomorrow morning. Make sure you protect the plants and if you have exposed pipes that uh, easily freeze, protect those. Let them drip early in the morning. 62 Thursday, 67 Friday. High school football Friday night will be chilly. Chilly Saturday morning, warming back up Saturday and Sunday afternoons into the mid 70s. Adrian, Jason, we have a couple new